Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today on the brand new Skyblock map that literally just reset yesterday. If you guys do want to come check out the brand new Skyblock server, make sure you guys are hopping on with royal.enchantedmc.net. And if you guys don't already know, this server is Bedrock and Java compatible. Now guys, we're going to be hopping straight into the Skyblock season. A ton of things have changed. If you like missed the live stream, if you missed the showcase video, this Skyblock season is going to be a lot different compared to other seasons that we have played, which I'm fine with because I do plan on grinding out this season a lot actually and as you guys can see we have already started a little bit I did a start of the world stream for like an hour to like an hour and 20 minutes wasn't anything super long and I basically haven't played since then I did have a pretty busy day on Saturday but now it is Sunday I have absolutely nothing planned besides playing skyblock so we are going to be grinding in today's start of the world episode and if you guys don't already know we are actually a part of like I think it's still a trio island mainly basically we are welcoming two brand new partners over to the enchanted mc network and that is going to be countdown and senior giraffe if you guys have you know been keeping up with the channel for a little bit you guys probably know who both of them are so anyways we did end up winning this set skin in the start of the world stream and if we do slash sets i ended up buying not a pvp set but look there are pvp sets there's dungeon sets and there's booster sets this season so we have a lot of things that we're gonna need to uh to be grinding but right here we ended up purchasing this warden set. We can't unlock the next one until player level 50. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but while I was grinding on start of the world on stream, it felt like leveling up took forever. So maybe they adjusted like how fast you actually gain levels this season. But basically, if you guys want to get some shards to start off or just get yourself a set, all you have to do is go into the dungeon and then walk over here to the caves. Now, at the caves, you are obviously going to bust out a pickaxe and you can mine coal. And to my knowledge, this is the only way you can make shards right now. Thankfully, I did end up winning this custom set right here. And if we look at the set skin, we have this, the Arcanist. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but look at the booster armor. Chance to find shards when equipped. So luckily, we won this set and I can basically get shards from doing absolutely anything on the server at least i believe that's how it works because they've changed enchants and everything on here if we take a look at our omni tool you only have three pickaxe enchants sword enchants this is where shard greed used to be you used to be able to get shards by grinding mobs and stuff but as you guys can see, that enchant is completely gone. And it is definitely not on the hoe either. So this is basically the only way to get shards if you guys are wondering. But I am super excited for this season of Skyblock. Again, it's the summer map. Hopefully everybody is online and grinding. I doubt we're going to be playing like comp because again, we're supposed to be just like a little trio island. I don't think we're recruiting, but that could change throughout the season. It depends how competitive we play. I do believe I might have to be doing uh, some of the carrying like levels wise and stuff. I don't know how much Senior Giraffe and Countdown are actually playing. And to be fair, I'm already a day late as well. So we're going to figure everything out for right now. Let's head over to slash IS go. I don't really need to be farming shards, but just like that, I think we went up like three or four or 500 shards somewhere around there. We are at 2k. Now I do actually want to buy a booster set in today's video because i haven't gotten one i don't know what we're gonna go for though i'm assuming oh wait no 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 we actually have this heat set i forgot who actually gave me this i think somebody won a start of the world crate in my stream i gave him the loot box and then he won the heat set out of it and he ended up giving it to me so we are actually going to claim this right now because that is the best booster set that you could possibly start off with this is going to give us a boost to our money and our levels and in today's video we are focusing on levels as much as possible because dungeons this season guys are extremely important the only way to get spawners is through grinding dungeons so if i look at my ender chest i have two spawners and we've gotten that from like just grinding dungeons but that's it and if we go to spawn just really quickly i will show you guys how all the dungeons are actually looking i'm not sure if we're going to be making it to level 50 in today's episode but whenever we do we will unlock the mesa dungeon and you guys can see it's going to unlock zombie skeleton and creeper spawners so out of the snowy dungeon which is just the starter one you can only win sheep snowman and polar bear so i'm not sure which spawner is really going to be the best for like money and stuff right here at the jungle it's going to be spider wolf and villagers i think villagers are decent magma cubes i know are pretty decent so are striders and ravagers so it looks like actually at the nether dungeon that's really where you're going to start making money at least i assume just off knowledge of playing like previous maps and stuff we did end up buying strider and ravager spawners clearly can't buy them this map and then this one you get drowned stray and evoker spawners 
those are going to be the best spawners on the entire server but it's locked until 10 days after start of the world and you need level 250 so right now isco we do not have too many things on the island we basically just set up these farms way down here on start of the world and this is what we're going to be grinding we do have countdown going crazy over here currently and i think that's it because again it's just kind of a trio island i flush my phone is afk down here but flush isn't really playing this season he's just kind of a uh, our mascot for the map i guess i don't really know but not only that guys if we do slash outpost there are outposts this season which means pvp is a thing that's why there's pvp P sets on the server the enchant outpost is 100 percent the best one but that's going to be comped by like the biggest islands on the server so we'll probably never be able to get down what bro savages is holding every outpost on the server who is allowing this if i'm not mistaken i do believe savages is like sanat's island and we're we're cool with sanat let me see i get no they're just not on is top so i don't actually know but listen guys currently i am only player level 10 absolutely god awful again we're at least getting i want to say to level 50 in this episode but i don't know how hard they made levels to gain so for right now you guys already know the vibes okay we are gonna do slash bundles and get ourselves a bit of a head start right here again if you guys are thinking about purchasing anything on the server always check your slash bundles because it's going to save you guys some credits aka just save you guys some money so we're going to be purchasing this premium bundle right here it's going to come with five star of the world loot boxes two monthly crates five totem boxes which is actually huge we definitely need those and then we actually already have a builder's wand so we don't really care about that but five thousand credits bang we just copped those i don't really know what we want to win from these start of the world loot boxes can you win more more totem boxes because if you can that's probably what we want to look for but screw it let's just get these down i've already opened up a ton of these on stream so this is purely for the start of the world video if we could win some coin pouches actually that would be pretty decent we got a money pouch and a ruby pouch instead literally everything but the coins and then bang robot keys i don't know how good robots are going to be this season because clearly we got to go grind dungeons to even get spawners and you will usually put robots on the spawner farm so that way they can grind for you make you some money but right here more money pouches and another robot key bro give me a coins pouch please just so we can have something to start off upgrading our hoe with right here oh actually two pet traits is pretty decent and we finally got one coins pouch w and a skin key we will actually take that we didn't need the builders one um chunk collector actually i don't know if we already have one on the island oh no wait turn just dm'd me there is no way giraffe is running a money totem over an enchant totem oh he might be throwing i do believe this is giraffe's first season on enchanted mc so i'm assuming he doesn't really know what he's doing Oh, and there's a cough going on right now. No way. I do want to, you know, try out some PvP this season. Not in the first episode because we have to build the god set. But I know I can, like, decently PvP. And I know Countdown can kind of decently PvP. I do believe Giraffe would be... Uh, walking pot loadout but who knows maybe we will try and like comp some pvp events later into the season i'm very excited for this season of skyblock everything is just so much different compared to like all of the other seasons but anyways guys now it's time to lock in all right we opened up all of those start of the world crates now we have these enchantment crystal boxes if we get super lucky guys this could be a really good win and a great way to start off the season but the main thing is probably going to be totems now we want to win a level totem and an enchant totem and possibly a coins those are going to be the top three most important one so the first one to start it off level totem that's huge tier three is the max because we only have tier three totem boxes so we absolutely take that now we're looking for an enchant ruby is decent i believe um i mean we have five slots anyway i'll just equip it but we still really want to see the enchant the enchant is probably the rarest one and the best one so bang money totem that is only a 1.04 x it's a tier one i feel like that might have been terrible enchant totem hey it's a tier one but it's going to be better than nothing we are equipping that right away final one is another level totem but the other one that we pulled was already really good surprisingly a 1.5 x that might be close to like the maxed out level boost i'm not 100 sure but that's what we're rocking with right now we'll equip this money just to have one and then we're missing one totem slot right here let me actually walk over to the dungeon real quick and see if we can craft more totem boxes boxes because if we can i'm probably gonna focus that just off rip because we definitely need some of that boom um no oh wait you can but these are tier one totem boxes though is that really worth to grind i'm gonna say probably not so whatever slash pets let's make sure we pet fuse all of our pets to the highest tier um our pet levels are gonna be kind of in the gutter okay we have a money pet we have a coins pet
pet. Level pet that we've already started on, and it's legendary, actually. That is really, really nice. And then we're gonna equip the ruby and the tool pet, which is also legendary plus. So the two level pets that we care about the most, which is the tool and the level, are the highest tier, which is great because that's what we're gonna be focusing on in today's episode. But anyways, let's move on to these crystal boxes. We'll see if we get anything good. Oh my, four ruby crystals in a row is insane, especially because I already have one. That's 150% booster, 97% chance to apply. We don't actually need any of these ruby crystals. And wow, we got one coin crystal and it has a 6% chance to apply. I am down horrendous, of course. It ended up failing. That uh, couldn't have been worse. I'm going to be honest with you. So let's open up these enchantment crystal boxes and then Ruby Merchant and Thor. I think Thor's decent, but that's unlocked way, way later into the season. You need tool level 200. So yeah, we won't have to worry about that anytime soon. Out of the crystals, guys, we got smoke. Now really quickly from the start of the world stream, we did get two skins, which was the black hole. And then I think the rainfall, it just said, so we're gonna take those. And I did find some more crystal boxes. So these are enchanted maximum of 200%, bro. I am done seeing Ruby crystals, please. Money, that's actually decent. This is a decent crystal. We'll take it and then a coins. Oh my god, this could be huge 12% chance to apply. Just try it right now. It failed. Of course the money it failed all right, GG's, bro. What is my luck with these crystals, man? We have one enchantment crystal box demolition. I don't think that's good at all. We'll rip these open five rubies i am about to rage bro okay screw it guys what eden 1335 absolutely no way but screw it we're gonna open up nine skin keys right here i don't really know what kind of skins we want to win i feel like they added new skins this season as well if i just do slash sets let me take a look the fairy skin is gonna be a very good skin for dungeons because you have a chance to find double the loot Ooh, mystic i feel like this is a brand new one i feel like i've never seen it and chance to boost the special boost on the armor so that's great and then speed 25 percent in the dungeon world could actually actually be pretty good but i do believe the azure is really good um i think the violet i think people were saying one season that that was the best one on the entire server oh wait, no no no! it was the sweetheart skin sweetheart is the absolute best booster skin to get because you get a 25 percent extra boost to the set boost so it's kind of all it's good for the dungeon armor boost isn't that great and the pvp armor might be decent i don't know how much three extra hearts like how significant that's gonna be lucky skin does seem pretty decent as well so anyways screw it let's hop into it bro i'm opening up these crate keys nine skin keys we are gonna bulk open and yeah we're gonna get everything that we actually end up seeing on screen i believe bang we're gonna win everything so we want to see like a sweetheart roll in no oh my god guys i think that was terrible we did get the azure I think Azure's decent. 15% extra set boost. So we'll take that. Then we got the dragon skin. This is a 10% extra set boost. So pretty bad. And then we have a dupe of the Arcanist skin that I am already wearing. Nah, that wasn't good enough, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Slash buy. We're getting some more skin keys because that wasn't good enough. We bought four more and that is where we're gonna stop. All right, boom, bulk open. We're gonna go four keys, one in the middle, both of the ends, and then one right here. Please give me something decent, dude. I'm begging. I don't need like any tool skins. And we got lucky skin and a beat skin, bro. I just don't think these are that great. Chance to find pet slash crystal boxes. Chance to have a higher chance of finding loot. I mean, actually, maybe the beats is gonna be a decent dungeon skin. It's not double the loot, but I mean, it's kind of all we got, dude. That's what we're rocking with. It is what it is. So I believe it is time to head to slash IS go. I wanna start grinding dungeons, but I wanna make it to level 50 at least first. So that way we can be in the Mason dungeon and not just the starter dungeon. So really quickly, slash sets, which set skin are we gonna be rocking right now? I think we're gonna go with the Azure. 15% extra boost to the set boost. And right now we have the heat set equipped. So it's gonna be helping us make more levels, more money. And again, we're focusing on straight levels in today's video. And actually, before we start grinding guys, let's do slash pets and we are going to get some pet upgrades. Or wait, no, no, not pet upgrades, pet traits and some pet stats as well. I'm only gonna focus on two pets right now, which is gonna be the level pet and the tool pet. And if we can fit in the coin pet but my coin pets level one so not the priority here so really quickly throw in the level pet this is just a trait i don't really know what we want to win probably buff three but we don't have a whole lot of credits left and we don't have a whole lot of rolls the only thing i don't want to win is like experience this is buff one not good enough bro re-roll experience two buff three. Oh my god we got it that is huge thank you very much we're gonna take that and then the tool pet again we're looking for buff three but i'll take like a buff two or something if we can get it buff two I'll take it. Just because I don't have a lot of rolls, we don't have a lot of credits left over here because we still have to go over to the pet stats. We're going to have to get 10 rolls of that and then 10 rolls of this. Throw in the level pet, bro. Random roll. Oh, okay. A plus, B plus, B. Honestly, it wasn't that great. Oh, bro, that was way worse. Oh, and it sees across the board. All right, A plus for a buff. We're going to take that experience as a B plus. Let's just, I mean, this is just level. Um, Yeah, boom, we'll take a B plus. All right, we'll take that. Now throw in the tool pet. Roll that. C plus on buff. A minus, A plus. Um, okay, we 
we can individually roll this. That's an A minus in buff. We're gonna take it. Boom. There we go. Now, can we actually throw in our coin pet? It's only level one, guys, but we have a couple of rolls here. B pluses across the board. Just gonna kind of take that and move on. Now, what kind of pet trait can we get on our level one coins pet? We only have like two more rolls. Bang. Level cap two again. Last one. Buff three. Oh my god. That is actually insane luck right there. Buff three on the coins pet. We'll take it. Honestly, not a bad start at all. So now, guys, I'm gonna take a cut. We are going to just be farming. Um, I'm gonna be leveling up my pets over here. We're also gonna be getting our player level up. If I do slash progression real quick, let me see what crop the server's actually on. So we have unlocked all the way up to beetroot. So maybe I get started on a second layer or like a third layer of this farm, whatever layer we're on, and place down some beetroot. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said we do that. All right, bang. This is basically the setup you wanna go whenever you're gonna go ahead and build yourself a layer of the farm. And ooh, dude, I wanna focus on slash IS upgrades so that way we can actually make our island border bigger, but that costs coins. As you guys can see, we haven't even gotten level one of the upgrade. So maybe we'll save that for the second episode because I need to actually start making coins right now. So for right now, we have our builders one. We're just gonna go ahead and extend this as far out as possible. And we have glowstone up here because the crops actually need light to end up growing. So guys, this might take a hot minute to build because I don't know if we have like a tilling wand. I think I might have to individually go and till the entire freaking layer. So I'm gonna take a cut. I will see you guys in one second whenever I get this beetroot layer set up. All right, guys, uh, Countdown actually did have a till one, so I will show you guys, boom. It just makes the process way easier, way quicker. Same thing with like all the builder's wands and stuff. So if you guys are wondering how to start off, honestly, this is probably it. Probably just wanna make yourself a little farm so that you can start leveling up. Because to my knowledge, this is still the fastest way to level up through farming. Maybe with all of these like level totems that I have and like level pet and stuff with the buff threes on them, maybe we can actually start flying through some levels, but boom, this is basically all you do and then you get a farmer's one and then you switch the crop how do you switch the crop bang right here beetroot we're gonna switch over to that and then this is how you use it bro super super simple and bang just like that the entire beetroot layer is done guys so now i'm gonna take a cut we're obviously gonna wait for this to grow but then i'm just gonna go on a bit of a grinding spree we'll see how long it takes me to actually level up because i think i'm gonna farm for like an hour maybe like an hour and a half two hours we'll see where we're at then but really quickly before we take a cut we have 280 million coins i think all you really want to upgrade is kind of coin greed especially off rip chance to gain a larger money multiplier per level money bro what is money gonna be used for now that you can't even purchase spawners i don't know so i think i'm literally dumping everything straight into coin greed and i just pray to god that wasn't a mistake and our tool level is only level seven as well so we have a lot of ways to go i'm also slightly debating maybe changing my set oh i didn't realize countdown was on this layer let's go ahead and go back down but changing my set to the beat skin for now because you have a chance to find pet slash crystal boxes my pet tiers are pretty bad right now and i don't even have any crystals on my hoe so maybe we'll switch like halfway through let me just see what is this thing look like bro we equipped it um oh it's this one i have seen this one before so maybe we farm in this one just for a little bit try to get ourselves some pet boxes some crystal boxes that we can apply over to our hoe and low-key guys i've just been farming for like two minutes and we've gone up two levels already which i know sounds like nothing crazy especially to the gens leveling up process if you guys watch that series but right now i already see a massive difference in the amount of levels that we are gaining i was farming trying to get the set to proc and we've gained two levels before we even got one proc from the set Still waiting for the beetroot layer to fully grow down here as well. But I mean, for the most part, it looks like it's pretty grown. Yeah, guys, make that four levels. Four levels and we haven't gotten one set proc. The set's gone. All right, the set is cheeks. Set armor. I think I might actually go with the Arcanist for right now because we do still need shards to upgrade our armor. And again, the only way to get shards is by mining or wearing this set. So for right now, I think we're gonna stick with this one. Ooh, let me throw on a set skin ability. We have a rainfall, we have a storm, TNT rain and black hole. I think we missed out on two of like the better ones the booster skin and the lucky block so don't really know what to go for here i don't really think it matters so i'm just gonna go with the one that looks the coolest which to me is this tnt rain one so anyways guys i'm gonna farm for a couple of hours i'm gonna take a cut we will see what level we are in the next clip and yeah i'll see you guys in one second Okay, guys, we're back and we have done a decent amount of farming I want to say and the results in my opinion are pretty good Um, we've been farming for a lot longer than like two hours, but still not that long if I go ahead and get out of f1 We are bang level 72 just like that and we have 
almost 18,000 shards. Now I'm going to use these shards, probably not all of them on my booster set, but a vast majority, because one thing I want to level up guys is going to be my Omni tool. It's only level 52 off camera. We did get a crystal to apply 153% coin boost. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. And our coin greed is almost at level 7,000. I do currently have 2.4 billion coins. I have literally just been saving them for this update clip. But yeah, looking at slash sets real quick, guys, I I do want to invest some shards into this and I want to go for one specific enchant. I just forget what it is every single time. It's this one right here, blacksmith, because this is going to help you level up your Omni tool a little bit faster. So we're going to try and get level five on every single piece. But as you guys can see, it gets expensive. So I actually don't know if we're going to be able to afford level five on every single piece. Um, Bang, last one right here. It's just the helmet. And nope, we cannot afford it. And dude, that was actually a lot of shards. Like I could have sold those shards for legitimate credits on the server. So shards are just looking kind of rare at the moment, which I mean, it's fine because I do have this Arcanist set. So shards will still come to me a little bit more like easy compared to other players on the server. But pet level update, we have almost maxed out the tool pet level and the level pet. Oh, the level pet is fully maxed out. So we are just working on the tool right now. The rest of these, we have to go ahead and upgrade the pet tiers. So let's go ahead, pet views. See if we can get any of these levels upgraded a little bit. I mean, money pet to level 150 is still pretty bad. Coin pet got to 255, still not great. Yeah, our pets are in the gutters, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. But it is what it is. This is just the first episode of the series. And we have reached my goal for today's episode. I wanted to get to level 50. We are level 72, guys. So if we go to slash spawn, we can actually head into the Mesa dungeon. And I believe jungle will unlock tomorrow. Oh, wait, that's three days. Oh, bro, the jungle dungeon. Dungeon isn't gonna unlock for another two days. I do have to get level 100, but I feel like we can pretty easily achieve that. So before we walk into the Mesa dungeon, let's switch our armor skins over to this. We're going to equip the dragon skin. It's going to give us four extra hearts, but it's going to give us a 20% higher damage done on PVE mobs. Okay. And with that, we're actually going to have to equip the dungeon set. Ooh, wait, we can also use this dragon set, but you need 2,500 shards. Guys, I'm not farming more shards yet. Okay. We're rocking with this one, just the basic warden. So that way we can get in. And this is what the dragon set is looking like. I've actually used this set in one of my series before. So let's just hop on through. Oh my God. There are actually a lot of people that are already here but again i was a day late so i'm not tripping too much and hey wait me and that guy both have a dragon skin by the way if you didn't know auto clicking is allowed on the server as long as you're not afk and i obviously don't think you can auto click in actual pvp and we do no damage um not a good look not a good look at all look at how much health these things have i have to upgrade sharpness on my like dungeon sword i believe i'm at like sharpness four and the maximum is like sharpness 15 so i didn't realize these guys were gonna have this much health but grinding dungeons right now look this guy just came through and swiped everything the little fat ass yeah wow guys i just have to go farm more shards this guy has the fairy set skin super good skin for dungeons i'm just gonna try and you know swipe a couple kills here and there because this guy's clearly doing way more damage than i am that's mine buddy i'm out oh we got 125 shards as a reward right there not good enough unfortunately so i didn't realize my sharpness was this bad we're heading over to slash spawn re-equipping our heat set right here and yeah let's go ahead and spend 2.4 billion coins we just recently unlocked the combo enchant i believe that was tool level 50 so we're at 52 we're gonna get this because it's gonna give us some extra coins while we're grinding and yeah we have 2.4 billion so we can do a pretty decent amount oh that gets expensive wow okay we'll do the last 250 levels and then the rest i think we're gonna throw onto coin greed right here thousand extra levels of coin greed boom this is all the omni tool is looking like on start of the world okay we're still not a full 24 hours into me like actually playing but in the next episode guys we're gonna continue to grind I'm switching back to the Arcanist set so that way we can get some more shards coming through because right now we are not making enough. But in the next episode, guys, we are going to be unlocking the Vanish Enchant. At least I'm hoping it's going to take tool level 75 and my tool level is currently 52. So we have some grinding we got to do off camera and I just realized this Enchant is going to cost rubies to upgrade. But whenever you unlock this Vanish Enchant, your money production, your coins production all shoots up tremendously. So we have to unlock that Enchant ASAP. And right now I am the only partner online, no countdown in sight, no senior giraffe. So it looks like I might have to carry in that aspect but yeah listen if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys drop a like sub if you guys are new this is the brand new skyblock reset map so if you guys want to hop on and check it out it is not too late your boy started off a little bit late myself but we're gonna be grinding back up there so yeah drop a like sub if you guys are new come check out the server and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next episode of the skyblock series